Hi, this is Abe Friedhanser from Awards Radar, and I'm thrilled to be speaking with Caitlin Deaver about her new uh, series, Dope Sick. How are you today, Caitlin? Hey, Abe, I'm doing really well. How are you doing? Good. It's so nice to be able to speak with you. You know, so nice to talk to you, too. So before taking on this role, had you read the book, and what appealed to you about this project? I I hadn't read the book before getting the, the script sent to me. I didn't know much about the opioid crisis. I knew it existed, but I didn't know the details. Um, I didn't know how it really started. I, I, I just knew that it, that it existed in the world and that's about it. And I think that a lot of my friends have the same, or people that I've spoken to um, share, share the same, um, you know, experience with it. I, I had, read the first script and felt like deeply in love with it. I felt, fell in love with specifically Betsy, the character. And I just, I just felt like I really, I just had to play her. And I, I, um, I put myself on tape and read with, with, um, I, I, I had a meeting with Danny and then I, got the job and he put his trust in me to play her and to tackle that role. And I immediately put just so much pressure on myself. And I, I really, I really just wanted to really dive into it. And, and uh, I, I did read Dope Sick by Beth Macy and that was super, um, it had, it had just like a lot of information that was really helpful to me. And um and yeah, just did a lot of research and prep, which was um, a lot, but it felt at the end of the day, everything was, was worth it for this project. And it's, it's a really special one. You've played other characters from rural areas in projects like Justified and Them That Follow. Uh, is that a challenge you enjoy repeating or is it difficult to be able to relate to people from different places like that? Um, I, it's sort of just, it's, it's, it is a challenge. Each each project is its own challenge, um, and specifically justified in them that follow, and then this one. Um, they all feel very different to me, though. Justified um, feels very different from from Dope Sick, um, and so I really just come at it with a completely different like um, mindset. Um, that being said, also like those projects just really. Um, naturally came into my life I didn't like seek out and like say I wanted to play that type of role I just it just it just happened it was just you know it just uh and I'm and I'm very grateful for that I I but yeah they all feel like their own separate challenges and especially this one this was um but really really such a gift that I've been able to be a part of all of those projects that's great and I I know I have uh, something coming up, a Romeo and Juliet update. Um, is it Rosaline? Um, and I assume that's more along the lines tonally of something like Book Smarter than this or Unbelievable. Can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, it's um, it's a story ab about, uh, <laughs> it's told from the perspective of uh, Romeo's first love before he meets Juliet. And it's... Um, it's very, very funny. And I just finished, I just wrapped it. And it is, it was just truly so much fun. And I love my cast more than anything. And I'm really excited for people to watch it. Wonderful, me too. It's been a pleasure to speak with you today and good luck in the future. Thank you so much.